Uh, first game back after the holiday break, did the, did the game kind of start the way that you expected that it was going to start? Well, it's always uh, both teams are going to show a little bit of rust because we haven't been on the ice, basically a uh, pregame skate for both teams. And then uh, drop the puck and try to get back, back up to speed. I thought it was a uh, pretty good hockey uh, game from uh, both teams. Unfortunately, we, did, we ended up on the wrong side. Now, you described the game against the Wolves on Saturday. They were, they were opportunistic. They capitalized on, on the mistakes that they were given. Would you say that that was the case again today? I, I thought it was a similar game. I don't, I don't think it was quite uh, uh, <coughs> as slanted as I felt the other game was. I thought they played a better game. I thought we played a good game for the most part. We lacked a little detail at times, and uh, they were able to capitalize on our mistakes more than we did. Uh, we had some great A looks that we uh, missed the net or couldn't finish on. Uh, I think there were more of, uh, of us not uh, executing in the moment than it was their goalie making big saves like it was uh, prior to Christmas. Now, Frederick Allard, he got the goal for the Admirals tonight, his third of the year, and he had uh, several other good looks. Uh, what did you think of his game tonight? Well, I thought uh, his game was a little loose, but then he scored the goal and he settled in, and uh, it was a beautiful goal, great play by Nick Baptiste on it. Uh, and then, uh, obviously, in, in the third, he had two or three really clean uh, grade A looks that we weren't able to execute on, but uh, he did put himself in spots to get those opportunities. Unfortunately, we couldn't convert on them. You mentioned Nick Baptiste, and you talked to Aaron Sims in the pregame show about how this is a good opportunity for some other guys to step up. Is this a good example of that happening? Yeah, he's a big, strong forward. He's got good feet and uh, good speed. Uh, he's a guy whose game has been growing and coming in the right direction. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, we couldn't convert it this year or this uh, game. He definitely uh, made a great play on the goal and got an assist uh, that Freddie was able to score on. I want to ask you about Joe Pendenza. He's, he's not necessarily new to Admirals fans. We saw him for a previous tour here, but he, he may be new to you. What are your thoughts on his two games with the Admirals so far? Yeah, yeah, he's doing fine. Like, uh, it's weird. He comes in and goes on break and comes back. But uh, I think for him, he's done a good job. He's an energy guy. He, he looks like a smart player. Uh, looks like he's added uh, a little more depth to our lineup, and uh, I'm not afraid to use him in most situations. And He's growing on me, but he's definitely done a good job in his first two games. So the Admirals have just two games between now and uh, January 5th. So how important is it going to be to get some practice time with this with this squad here as we turn the calendar year? Well, practice is always important. You're always trying to correct and trying to uh, get the execution and uh, uh, the, the game play that you're looking for. Uh, I thought both teams executed decently well today based on the uh, uh, situation with no practices and coming back from Christmas. It was a high-paced game. We had a great crowd tonight. It was unfortunate they're going to go home disappointed. Uh, but uh, maybe uh, the next time we're at home, we can get the result we want with another big crowd. And the next time on the road, too, Admirals on the road for their next four. Coach Carl Taylor, thank you very much for your time tonight. Thank you.